In the environmental movement, biodiversity and climate change are the key buzzwords. But what's their mutual interaction and how do we react to each one of them? Well, climate change definitely deserves the headlines, but it's biodiversity that is a living, breathing proof that our surroundings are still healthy. How did I reach that conclusion? Listen and find out. So the 22nd of May was the World Biodiversity Day. Good morning, I'm Mati from the Environmental Perspectives and welcome to the Environmental News. Today we'll talk about two key terms in the environment these days, biodiversity and climate change. Biodiversity consists of ecosystem diversity, species diversity and interspecies diversity. On the other hand, climate change is fought in many ways and the major one is re renewable energy. So preserving biodiversity and fighting climate change, two challenges that are on the mind of every environmentalist. But how do they interact? Do they reinforce each other or do they compete with each other? A lot is written about that topic, including the joint report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and Intergovernmental Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services. Link is in the video below. After reading dozen different reports, I would summarize the relationship between biodiversity conservation and the fight against climate change as follows. People need healthy nature and environment around them. One of the key indicators of that health is biodiversity. Because of our way of life during the last century, we face climate change. Climate change threatens nature and environment around us. Fight against climate change is necessary. And the main approach are renewable energy sources. But not at the expense of biodiversity. Because, as we said in the beginning, Biodiversity is, is an indicator of healthy nature and environment. And healthy nature and environment are key to healthy living. Therefore, the fight against climate change must take into account biodiversity. So people, situation is complex and action is definitely required. But since the nature of the problem is complex, it requires an expert analysis. We'll dive into the depths of analysis in future videos, but for now it's important to know that each action in the end depends on uh, participation of individual people. And to explore that further, we'll look uh, how this topic developed on a social media platform, YouTube. So I made two videos that dealt with the interaction of fossil fuels, renewable energy and biodiversity. I approach those topics from the perspective of economic incentives and policy analysis. Let's face it, boring stuff, but boring stuff that runs the world. But what's even more important, when I imagine this YouTube channel, those were the types of video that I thought I'll be doing. So I dealt with an important topic, I analyzed it seriously, I summarized it effectively into an easily digestible form. I put a lot of effort in those videos, each one or two days. Uh, Sovacu did the quality control, Ducks made engaging thumbnails to represent them. So that's one type of videos. There is another video. During one of recent weekends, I went hiking with friends and along the path we encountered an adder. And I recorded it, made three short clips, and after that did some simple editing. And in total, it took me less than uh, one hour to make this video. So we have two types of videos. On one side, deep analysis of renewable energy, and on the other side, a quick glance at biodiversity. So as of 12th of June, which type of videos performed better? Well, renewable energy videos gathered 80 and 30 views, while a biodiversity video gathered almost 2,000 views, or 20 times more. So the video in which I invested the least performed the best. Invested the least amount of time, energy and risk. And yes, for a biologist, uh, it's more risky to speak to camera than to speak with a poisonous snake. I mean, I'm not typical biologist, but still. And when I saw those results, I thought, ah, just people, they only care about charismatic fauna and they're not interested in fine intricacies of uh, deep analysis of complex documents. And that might be true, but there is also something else. Well, you see, that moment when I spotted the other, uh, that moment was actually really rare. And I think 
on some level people intuitively understand it because for, first of all uh, just to be in an uh, undisturbed ecosystem is rare these days. Then to spot a snake, actually a living active snake, is also quite rare. And then it turns out that that snake is not a uh, normal adder, but it's actually a special form of adder, black, which emphasizes this intraspecies uh, diversity, diversity within the species. Then that makes that moment even more rare. And I think people intuitively reacted to that. And that's why that video generated so many views. And that's why biodiversity is important for each environmentalist and in the end for each person. Because biodiversity is that living, breathing proof that our environment is still healthy and that we need to protect it on every step of our journey. For more environmental news like this, subscribe to the channel. Another question of the day, are you more interested in biodiversity conservation or fight against climate change? That's it, I'm off to finish my field work and until the next time, goodbye.